Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Polybridge 3. We are currently working through the campaign. We are in the minor mountains and we have one final level to do long haul. Now on this one we've been given the brand new material foundation which is pretty expensive. You can see it's 15 grand plus 900 quid for every bit of height you add. And looking at the level we have a tractor, a car and you a flatbed truck. And we've got to get them all over to this side which is quite a long span. It's 24 meters. Okay. And now let's just press play to make sure these all go at once. Oh, look in the background. It's like icebergs and stuff. Like, well, up here, there's like a little, there's a little penguin by a campfire. Oh, that's nice. But yeah, right. So for this one, I think we're probably going to have to make like a double decker bridge. I mean, I was actually, I was just thinking, looking at this. Could I make like a platform to try and hold? Could we do something like that to try and hold those two? I'm going to guess probably not. But either way, we need to build a bridge down here for the, for the truck. So first things first, we draw a line from that point to that point. Then we press this to fill in with the road and it goes boosh. And then we have our road, but we can't just have that because that has no supports. So we've got to build a bridge. Now, how much does this actually weigh? 14 polygrams. That's pretty hefty. The car is seven and a half. Oh, and actually, I've just noticed the car, it's got a washing machine on its roof. So that actually weighs quite a lot. And the tractor is four polygrams. Okay, I feel like with this one, we might actually want the foundation because that gives us a static node which basically means we've got two short bridges, which are going to be a lot cheaper to build. So anyway, let's try and do this the sort of intended way, I imagine. So we've got the double decker roads like that, and then we can just truss this up. Oh, nice. And we can literally just do that. So question is, is this going to be strong enough to support all of that? Oh, I mean, it nearly was. It actually nearly was. What broke? You broke. I wonder if I were to add a wall brace like that, that just puts some of the weight down into this wall, which essentially means our span rather than starting there it starts there so by doing that i think i've made the bridge shorter which should make it a bit stronger whoa but not strong enough i mean we do have steel so i could just do that on those if they're breaking so yeah that seems to work a lot better but steel is a lot more expensive we've spent 55 grand of our 75 grand budget but everyone made it across safely but yeah on the leaderboards we're two thousandth in the world we're only in the top 38 percent that will not do so the most obvious way to try and save some budget is probably delete this foundation it costs 17 grand so if we delete that i mean we can we can play this straight away but although it holds itself i don't think it will hold any vehicle yeah uh, but we could potentially put two curved roads in because as we know the arch roads give us quite a bit of strength and the taller they are the better but obviously the taller they are the more expensive they are as well and we've got the trouble that this guy needs to get up so we'll try that boosh i'll copy it above so that they're the same although technically maybe i wouldn't have to do that i could just do i could maybe do a straight across oh no not quite straight across i don't think matt that that truck will fit through that gap <laughs> you silly boy. We could probably make this top road a lot flatter. So if we go to there, we can do these middle ones like that. But over here, it gets a bit tricky because we can't quite reach all the anchors. I wonder if I were to bring these down a little bit. Okay, we can now reach that one. This one still an issue but we can do that i just know that having that kink there we've sort of got rid of the point of the arch because the point of the arch is to take the force from going straight down to sort of bring it along this way to that anchor still we'll copy this to the other side fill in the middle and then we'll press play so we can see it's holding but i don't know for how much longer not very long if we watch it with the stress on we can see where the problems are all down down in the corners so as before a simple way to fix that to try and strengthen this bit of road is adding a wall brace like that so we'll add that that to both sides and then you know what oh i feel it's like the the sideways force like if we watch this look at the yeah it's the sort of kadunk so i'm wondering could i get away with trying to like smooth this a little bit the trouble with doing that is it's gonna be not as strong yep it failed straight away i mean perhaps we can add another wall brace that should strengthen stuff a little bit i mean we got further all right so the trouble now is this road keeps on breaking and in this game we don't have reinforced road anymore uh, if I were to do the poly bridge one thing, which is replace it with that, you can see there's literally, well, there's no road there and it's just carnage. But there is another way we can reinforce this bit of road, which is essentially put in one of these muscles on top. Hopefully this will take some of the force. Oh man, it still breaks. That road is just getting crushed. 
Okay, what if instead then we put two bits of road in? We make a road muscle underneath. Okay, only that bit broke this time. So if we move it that way, try and make it smaller. Oh, there's so much force. <laughs> okay, I think I've done it. I've just gone a bit mental down there. But that does actually hold. The rest of the bridge doesn't. Yeah, but now I've got steel there. I can raise this up again and I can put our curve back in. So if we go for something like that, you can... Oh, man, it's still getting so stressed. What broke there? Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> that bit of road broke again. Okay, right. I feel like this is... I'm wasting time on this. What else can we do? Oh, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually quite struggling with this one. Trying to not use a foundation. It's pretty tricky. I mean, I do have the choice to put in a low foundation. Like, that's... It is 15 grand, though. But then I could bring the road down to it so it's cheaper. I guess we'll try that for now. So we got something like that. Will it work? Stress going pretty high up to 97%. It does. We're 54 grand, though. So we're still 1,023rd in the world. Not ideal. We've got to we've gotta be able to do this without the foundation. I feel like it's got to be something like that. I mean, maybe if I just go a bit to town on making, like, really good under braces what if we try and support like that much because then technically our span is only like that little bit in the middle so let's have a look okay so that breaks almost instantly what i am thinking though i know when you do like these double decker bridges you don't actually need these supports so you can remove all of them because in this game remember they have a weight so by doing that i'm actually making my bridge lighter which might make it stronger even though i'm using less parts remember in poly bridge 2 it didn't work that way oh look oh oh Okay, we might be on something. We might actually be on something. Uh, if we try and make these a bit lighter then. I mean, I don't really need those two bits. So we're trying to make the bridge lighter so that it's stronger. I mean, actually, I'm just having a bit of a cheese up here. I've put like a little a blockade in so they can't get across. You can see bridge plenty strong enough to take you on your own. So what I'm thinking, if I can perhaps tweak this so that they start moving after the truck goes, then I can make my bridge a lot lighter probably. So oh they're going okay 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 so i've given this a bit of a tweak now so you can see that's going across and then this goes later on which means it works <laughs> okay that is good that is actually good i've proper cheesed this level i'm sorry yeah, but next step is if we turn the stress on can we make these a little bit cheaper i mean to be fair do we do we need like most of it at all so if i get rid of those the stress went up to 99 oh that's up to 99 again oh Okay, that's good. That's, well, it's not really good. But um, yeah, I'm just wondering now, every tweak I make will probably have a negative effect. But I'm going to try and make it cheaper. Yes, yeah, so that breaks. We may have been on the limit as it was. Can we try and make these a little bit cheaper by going like, like that? I think literally we're probably on the limit. So 37,500 quid. Yes, I cheesed it. No, I don't care. Let's see where we are on that leaderboard. It's got to be good. It's going to be good. What? Only 65th? What? I don't actually understand. How have so many people done it cheaper than me? Did I beat Aliens Rock? Yeah, of course I did. Oh, I smashed Aliens Rock. Decent. He must use the foundation. But the top person, 14 grand. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, let's have a look in the gallery then at the cheapest solutions. 29 grand. Oh, look. Oh, it okay. That's sort of different to what I was thinking at first i was thinking of doing it the opposite i was thinking of supporting the the tractor and the car from the truck but supporting the truck from those two underneath that is actually genius fair play <laughs> so cool there's another cheap one here which has got one bit of road that goes up oh no wait what wait what how do they get down then so that does a forward ro what no way <laughs> How did they even come up with that? That's mine cap. Oh my goodness. All right, and then we've got... We actually tried this, remember? They got it to work. They used steel underneath. I think that's why I probably didn't. Still ended up being way cheaper than mine. Fair play. Oh, look. Someone did the super steep arches. That was probably a way to do it. Although you can see they used muscles down there. Actually, they didn't... Can you... Like, if you zoom in right there, can you see they didn't touch the road? Like, the road's floating, I think. Because if you remember, my road down there kept breaking. So I guess that's the way around that. Hang on. What? What? How does that work? All vehicles go at the same time, and it's only 85% stressed. So this, like, British flag sort of looking muscle thing at the end, that really 
spreads the weight nicely. I guess because it's got like a nice sort of big diagonal. So all the weight from up here should come along and then down into that joint, which is what you want. And we've got, oh, look, this is quite nice. Sort of mega truss thing going on. No wall supports. Am I the only person that like cheese the vehicles going at separate times? Oh, look, this one has a badger's head hanging underneath. That's a nice addition. Oh, look, I've just seen one. Look, you look, that's what I wanted to do initially. But I didn't have the patience or the skill. I mean, to be fair, he spent 43 grand. So they're also quite an interesting bridge. They did uh, they did steel tension without rope or cable, just with actual steel. All right, so this one, we've got the quad steel arch. Love to see it, but a bit excessive, especially with the foundation in the middle. 74 grand. We've got this one. What happens here? So the cars come down, drive onto that, and then they drive back up that slope. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Quite excessive though. 74 grand. We've got that. I'm just going to do one bridge, but they're going to use more road than the bridge would have used to cover the truck so they can drive on top. Interesting solution. 111 grand. We've got the RCE propaganda. I don't know what that was in the background. And oh, tell you what, look at that. That is a bilf if ever I seen one. Now a bilf is a bridge I'd love to fabricate. And that looks absolutely delicious. Right, let's get on to the next level. And we're going to a new world now. So where do we go? Oh, not that one. That one says hydraulics. Had enough of those recently. What's that one? Rustic Baron's pre-builds. We've also got Lava Lagoon, which is generic. And Vaulty Towers, generic with jumps. Okay, let's just do pre-builds. We'll go left to right. So pre-planned. Some pre-built materials may not be moved or altered, indicated by grayed out joints. Ah. Oh. Yeah, look, when we try and move these, they're locked. So if we press play, oh, it does just fall still. So basically, we need to build a bridge that supports this road. And we've got three cars behind. Oh, it's like the Italian job. Three little minis. Yeah, they just got to get to the other side. Okay, so we just got to build a bridge to support this. I can I can work with that. So to start with, I think we go underneath like that. Actually, shall we just stay underneath? The entire way because yeah technically that works i should probably have yeah because i don't have any anything in the middle like i should probably add that not really for strength but for like to stop it flexing because before this was all flexible i mean oh it's definitely not strong enough what broke okay you broke let's for now just replace these bottom braces with steel and see if that is strong enough it's pretty good oh they got so much speed coming down okay it was good 9900 quid 470th in the leaderboard but that's the top 12 percent i feel like we can definitely do better like if we watch this with the stress on any bits that go red i mean i tell you what everything in the middle can be massively reduced so we'll do a bit of that it's going to make the bridge lighter as well which potentially means the bridge will be stronger so what do the stresses do here they still stay pretty green if i'm honest so i'm still going to try and make all these joints a little bit smaller and then i just need to get rid of these bits of deal because that saves a lot of money what do they cost each they cost 860 if it was just wood cost 344 so i really need to get away with just using wood but look they're already glowing yeah not ideal something i could try we know we've got 860 quid to beat so if we can do this cheaper than that and what i'm thinking is the return of the muscle do they actually work in this game so that costs 765 so we've saved 95 quid is it as strong oh definitely definitely i I mean, the rest of the bridge isn't. But I've just copied that to the other side to make it more symmetrical. And oh, yeah, that's working nicely. That's working nicely. So 9,295 quid. We're now 267, top 6%. I feel like we've got to push for our top 5% every time. So what I'm thinking, can we get away with losing that? Because we know structurally it's not doing a lot. It's just the movement that this adds to the bridge. Did you see that? If we go in slow motion, look at this. Like it's moving so much that the bridge just collapses. I mean, what if I, I could make it so there's just a joint there so that's lost me like two pieces that's still going to be flexible but yes yeah, a lot stronger and then i guess can i just move these so it's really cheap where's the cheapest way all over that way and then this one if i move it to the right yeah that's going to be way cheaper let's get that right up there okay maybe too far so i'm just going around pretty much bringing up all these so they're a little bit cheaper doing a little test yeah it works grab this one move it up a little bit because that's cheaper and i mean i could just do that all day but to be fair 8677 that's way cheaper than it was let's have have a little look where we are on the leaderboard now 124th top three percent i think i'll take that let's have a look in the gallery what was the cheapest way of doing it 
Wait, what? How is that cheaper than my... Oh, there's no... There's no muscles. Yeah, because if you get rid of the muscles, you actually save, like... like what does the muscle cost again? It costs 765 compared to 300. I mean, even if you were to do, like, that sort of thing. I don't think that will work in mine necessarily. No, it doesn't. That is... De I've, I sort of forgot I had these. That uses up a lot of money. So 8,677. I think I could, like, orientate these. I mean, yeah, that works. It's only saved me, like, 11 quid. So I don't really know why I bothered. I'm not going to bother doing it with the other side. But yeah, we gained another place. Oh, look, we actually we got exactly the same price as the two people above us. I tell you what, then. Let's just make this side cheaper. So that's another 11 quid saved. Yeah, now we're 118th. But yeah, another... Oh, that's literally my bridge. Because, look, it's got the joint on one side. Mine was on that side, I think. But they got away with doing that underneath. Oh, actually... That's not my bridge at all, because theirs goes on top. I think mine was all underneath, wasn't it? So I probably I probably should have tried going over the top. Didn't really even consider it. Yeah, you can see all of these, the, the truss goes over the top rather than underneath. This Oh, look, this one's cable stayed, and it's cheaper than mine. What? Okay, that sort of excites me, because maybe that means with the new physics, cable stayed bridges could actually be a legit strategy in this game. They weren't in Polybridge 2. All right, so that one's similar to mine. Oh, it's actually more expensive than mine. I did quite well then. Now, there's only three pages of replays on here. Oh, look at that. What is that? The boat goes like through the middle of the bridge. That is really cool. 25 grand as well. Perfectly on budget. Yeah, right. They were cool. Let's go on to the next level. Diamond in the rock. Okay, so on this one, oh man, we've got two dump trucks, which we 15 polygrams each. Uh, essentially, that is heavy. We have this diamond, which we can't move or delete. So I guess for now, we just bridge over like that. And then we just got to make this as strong as possible. Our materials, we got road, wood, and steel. So I'm going to try and do this in just wood. What I'm thinking, if I put a point down there, then grab the curve tool, I think I want to try and do like that sort of thing. So if I use this line to build my own sort of bridge, can we perhaps get away with doing that? I mean, probably not. That looks really flimsy when you look at the size of those. But uh, only one way to find out, I guess. Turn the stress off and have a Oh, it's working. It's... Oh, that... I thought I did that for a second. So what broke? You broke down there. Is that because you are a wiggly joint? No, I think it's just the, the full force of it. So if we make that smaller, let's probably turn the stress on. Oh, man, do you see how red that went? I mean, smaller and making it steel could be sensible. Let's see how red... Oh, look at that piece. Look at that piece. That does work, though. We just got to do the same on the other side. So we'll delete that. We'll then mirror this to the other side. And then we've got 18 grand bridge as our first attempt. Oh, no, it didn't make it. It didn't. It tricked me. So yeah, that is the trouble. Bridges in opposite directions, they work differently because the force is going to be loaded differently. So I'm sort of thinking for this, if I just bring that down and then just smooth off this arm a little bit by shoving that out. We've spent an extra like, I don't know, five quid or something, but uh, that works now. Nice. So where are we on the leaderboard? Oh, top 5% straight up. 223rd. Did we beat Tyler? Yeah, easy, mate. Easy. First time. The question is, do we do some shaving? And I think the answer is yes. Now, there's a few things we could do. Do. I mean, the obvious one is just make all these trusses a little bit smaller, but I feel like to actually save money, we want to try and like lose pieces. I mean, swapping the steel down there with wood would also be a good idea. What I'm thinking, if we got rid of like that, we'll... Oh man, I don't know if you saw that piece. Look how red that goes. I could probably fix that by doing that. I don't need the curve anymore because this is like a separate structure almost. I'm also thinking as well, I could get rid of that. I don't know if this bit of road will actually be strong enough to support everything. That's probably taking it yeah a bit too far oh actually actually oh okay so i just replaced that with steel and that's sort of proven that the road has this road is really strong in this game okay well that's 17 grand question is can i make this all out of wood maybe by bringing it down a little bit because if i can make this all out of wood that would be so much cheaper i don't actually know if i can though like, what if i add another piece like that it just wants to break no matter what i do to it all right i tell you what i think i'm gonna do a bit of a bit of shaving and you guys can watch the montage architects are you ready to see engineering brains inside of me don't say yes if you need a pee oh dear this is an engineering feat architect sketch i use concrete they also have really smelly feet. Oh dear! So come on, let me So come on, let me
All right, so this is what we ended up with 15,118 quid. We turn the stress on, you can see everything goes pretty red on this. Didn't manage to get rid of the steel at the ends though, so probably could go cheaper. But let's have a look where we are. Oh, we're ninth. No way, we're actually ninth. To gain more spots though, I need to save like 200 quid. Don't even think that's possible. Oh, actually, replace one bit of steel. Oh man, if I can get rid of this steel. Oh, I just had a thought. What if I use road instead of steel? So steel is 450 per meter. Road is 300. Oh yeah, that is bringing the price down. And oh, it's also bringing the dump trucks down. I mean, and surprisingly, if you look at this, it's not actually the road that's breaking. It's, it's that piece down there. So the butterfly effect. Because we've changed something up here. I guess there's more weight coming down this way. But yeah, a simple little change like that. Okay, we're good. That's 14,889. I think we should have gone up a few places. We're now seventh. We got to get 870. So we need to save 19 quid. Let's just see how red these go. Oh, they go quite red, actually. I can probably bring this up a very, very small amount. Okay, that still works. That saved. Oh, that saved quite a lot of money, actually. Say what then? Let's just copy that to the other side. Okay, so that worked fine. Where are we in the leaderboard now? We are sixth. Oh, man. Can we get to top five? No, nah, that's like that's so much much money. I feel like there must be another design to get that because you're going to you're gonna have to lose a piece or something. Yeah, I can't see how I'm going to save like 200 quid unless I were able to somehow replace the road. Even that's not enough though. So we'll stay as sixth in the world. Let's have a look in the gallery. What is the cheapest one? Is it cheaper than mine? No, no one's showing their secrets. Yeah, they did overarch though. Hang on, did I do? Oh, yeah, I did underneath supports. Okay, so all these cheap ones, they all went over the top rather than underneath. I don't know if that is actually cheaper. Maybe Maybe it is, although it can't be because mine's actually cheaper. Oh, look down here. This guy had a very similar idea, but spent loads of money doing it. Just goes to show how much you can actually trim stuff using the same sort of design. Oh, this one. Look at the muscles in there. <laughs> they played Polybridge 2 before. Um, oh, okay. Wait, oh, they, they're around the back of the level. Yeah, I sort of, I haven't bothered to look at these levels. What's wrong with me? Look, there's a bridge. There's already a bridge on this level. I'm also liking here. Look, we got like a little, is that like a water tower? And then some sort of sluicy thing coming down. Anyway, the next level is called On the Ropes. So on this one, can we, yeah, we can't delete those. So I'm guessing if we just get some road in, <laughs> then we know that rope works only in tension. It can be pulled apart. But if you try and squish it together, it's like spaghetti. We'll, we'll just squish up. Yeah, so what I'm thinking do we want to try and build a bridge like that sort of thing maybe yes yeah, so we'll try something like that i mean it's quite expensive actually looking at the budget does seem to work not for very long so what broke okay you broke so well that's because the the weight from down here is going all the way along to there and then it has to try and come back so ideally we need like a support there uh this is not cheap in the slightest though is it gonna be strong enough as well. No, it isn't. So that failed. So I think if we bring those down, remember I got to do it on both sides because we've got to try and make this symmetrical. But then that works. 96% stress. We've spent 19 grand of our 28 budget. Uh, quite pricey that. Oh, we're still in the top 4% though. That ain't bad. Did we beat Tyler? Oh, what? He's fourth? Fourth? don't even know. What was his like 14 grand? How would you even? It's got to be some like cheesy solution where like you don't actually use any wood. You just use the, oh, it's probably a dangly road, isn't it? It's always a dangly road. I'm not stooping to that level. I don't care. I know what I did on a few levels earlier. I'm not stooping to dangly road level. All right. So I've come up with a tension bridge. You can see though, it's still pretty pricey. I mean, if we watch with the stress on, everything still goes pretty red. I mean, I could, could I like banana this? So this basically halves the amount of wood we're using because rather than doing triangles, we just do like straight. And to be fair, rope in this game, actually quite cheap. 220 a meter, wood's 180. If we banana these ones as well. Now, a bit rickety, bit rickety. What if we then just do that? So a sort of small tension bridge. Oh yeah, that works. That does work. So if we just make that symmetrical on the other side, how are we looking? This banana, yeah, this banana is just a bit too rickety. I think I might go back to the tension bridge and if we do like that get rid of this first triangle that's quite a lot cheaper wait no it's not it's 18 grand this is so expensive yeah tension way too expensive so sod it tyler beat me that time i'm sure he cheesed it somehow though dirty cheeser now let's have a look in the gallery and see what are the cheapest solutions so this is 15 grand Ooh. okay so dangling the road down but it's not a dangly road 
That actually helps. Interesting to note. Oh, all of these go down. I think I missed a trick there trying to do a straight road. Now, this one's straight. It's 16 grand and uses tension just in the middle. Ooh. I feel like I should have looked at the gallery a long time ago. Could have saved me a lot of time. <laughs> what? Even a basic truss like that works. And it's cheaper than... Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Still, I'll take top 4% on the leaderboards. So we've done the first three levels. We've got all of those to go later on. If you're enjoying the series, boost the like button. But for now, I'll say peace, love and bridges. Bye, guys.